the second digestive disorder is vomiting vomiting is also called emesis now during emesis contents present inside the stomach contents which are present here or present in the upper region of small intestine see this is duodenum jejunum ileum parts of small intestine so from here till here it is small intestine so in the initial part of small intestine or inside the stomach contents which are present here are forcefully pushed outside through mouth so it is for forcefully pushed outside it is pushed outside through mouth it is called as vomiting also called emesis now act of vomiting is a reflex act it's it's a reflex act now any irritating contents in the gut might stimulate sensory impulses are conveyed to the brain any part of the gut if there are irritating contents so sensory impulses are conveyed to the brain a vomiting center is located inside medulla oblongata that's present in medulla oblongata the medulla oblongata is uh, it is present beneath pons veroli right so in medulla oblongata you have the vomiting center from the vomiting center motor impulses are coming motor impulses are coming through cranial nerves 5 7 9 10 11 and 11 5 7 9 10 11 so these are the cranial nerves so these cranial nerves bring the motor impulses so that act of vomiting is completed now at the time of uh, this vomiting you can see there is nausea retching if you see the act of vomiting so you can see nausea at the beginning even before acting is over even before that vomiting is done there is nausea there is retching retching means strong involuntary contractions of the gut there is also anti peristalsis anti peristalsis normally food moves wave like contraction downwards after we swallow it we forget it so th that is wave like contraction the wave like contraction is called as peristalsis but at the time of vomiting you can see a reverse peristalsis it is called anti peristal a wave starts from backwards and moves upwards down and it starts upwards so that's why we call anti peristalsis closure of glottis this this glottis is closed and you can see larynx larynx moves forwards and upwards this this is the larynx that that is the glottis this is the trachea that is the larynx this is the esophagus the digestive system respiratory system so th this is the pharynx now you can see closure of that glottis that slit like aperture of trachea that glottis is closed larynx moves forwards and upwards right and if you see the soft palate soft palate moves upwards this is the soft palate this is the hard palate which separates buccal cavity from nasal cavity and beyond that line beyond that line everything is the soft palate it separates the nasopharynx with oropharynx this soft palate is pulled upwards and there is contraction of abdominal muscles abdominal muscles they undergo contraction lower esophageal sphincter 
lower esophageal sphincter opens and gut contents are pushed out. So act of vomiting if you see, you can see even before the vomiting has started there is a feeling of vomiting that's called nausea and there is a strong involuntary contraction that is called retching and uh, contrary to the normal peristalsis wave, peristalsis wave is a contra wave like contraction which moves downwards but during vomiting a reverse of peristalsis occurs. So you can see wave of contraction starting from intestine moving towards stomach and esophagus. And you can see closure of glottis. The person takes a deep breath and there is cessation of breathing at that time. So he takes a deep breath and temporarily breathing stops for a few seconds. And you can see larynx, it is dragged forwards and upwards. Soft palate is also dragged forwards and upwards. And you can see contraction of the abdominal muscles and opening of lower esophageal sphincter. Lower esophageal sphincter is here. Lower esophageal sphincter. So this opens. So this contracts that opens. Contents present in the stomach and sometimes even in the small intestine. It's pushed outside. So this is the act of vomiting. It is also called emesis. So this act of vomiting is controlled by a centers, vomiting centers present in middle oblongate and impulses, motor impulses are coming to various parts of the gut through cranial nerves 5, 7, 9, 10 and 11.